Hi, I'm Tony Deering of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. And thanks for joining me. What we're going to talk about today are the symptoms of mild cognitive impairment. And this is an important thing to understand because people are worried and they're concerned. They see these little signs uh, that their mind might be slipping and they think there might be a problem, but they're not sure. I mean, is, is what is going on? Is it uh, just normal memory loss or, or is it the sign of something serious? So they go to the internet and, okay, hold on, time out. What, what just happened here? I'm having a conversation with you and I take a mug out of the cupboard and I fill it with coffee and then I put the full cup of coffee back in the cupboard. And you're like, what the heck? What is this guy's problem? Does he have some kind of cognitive issue? Well, that's what we're here today to figure out. My goal is that by the end of this video, you will understand the symptoms of mild cognitive impairment well enough that you can answer that question accurately. But as we get started here, if you don't mind, I actually am going to drink my coffee, if I can remember where it is, which fortunately I can. So memory is a slippery devil. We all experience some degree of memory loss as we age. We misplace our wallet or our phone. We walk into a room and we're like, what did I come here for? Now these brain farts or senior moments or whatever you care to call them are a little frustrating and a worrisome, yet they really are a fairly harmless and normal part of aging. Unfortunately, for somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of people over the age of 65, something is going on in their head that is not normal and is definitely not harmless. They're experiencing some form of mild cognitive impairment which puts them at higher risk for dementia. And you want to detect this cognitive impairment as early as you can, because that gives you the best possible chance of identifying what's going on and addressing it and slowing down potentially that cognitive decline or perhaps uh, even reversing it. But to recognize mild cognitive impairment, you've got to know the symptoms. Mild cognitive impairment isn't just forgetfulness or taking a little longer for a word or a name or a piece of information to come to you. The symptoms of mild cognitive impairment have more to do with confusion or disorientation or struggling to do things that used to be easy. If you can't find your car keys because you don't remember where you put them, that's a common occurrence that can happen at any age and it's nothing to worry about. If you can't find your car keys because you put them in the refrigerator, that's a sign of confusion and a cause of concern. So let me give you a couple of examples here and you tell me yes or no. First, you're driving down a street in your neighborhood and you realize that you can't remember the name of the street you're on. So is that a symptom of mild cognitive impairment? Yes or no? Okay, you say no, and, and you're right. Your brain cannot remember every piece of information it's ever been exposed to or it would explode. Uh, you're on a street that's familiar to you. You know where you're going. You know where you're going to turn. You don't need to know the name of that street, and your brain dismisses it. But now let's say you're in your neighborhood 
and suddenly you feel lost. The, the street you're on, it seems to be part of a maze and you can't figure out how to get home. Okay, now that is a sign of concern. So here's another one. You're in the grocery store and you bump into someone you went to high school with, but you haven't seen them in a while. And it's embarrassing, but you can't remember their name. Is that a sign of cognitive impairment? Yes or no? Again, no. I'm terrible with names, but I've always been terrible with names. That's not a cognitive impairment issue. But if you find yourself sitting at the dinner table with your spouse of 30 years and you can't remember your spouse's name, that's a signal. That could be a symptom. I was recently talking to a woman who was diagnosed with MCI uh, just before her 70th birthday. Uh, however, her family saw the issues before she did, and they became concerned enough. They sat down with her and had what she called a little intervention. And she told me that when that happened, she was angry, she was defensive, she was in denial. Uh, she was like, no, you're wrong. I I'm fine. There was nothing wrong with me. But after that, even she couldn't ignore some of the things that were occurring. And she told me the thing that kind of put her over the edge is that she had this family dog and she'd had it for 10 years. And there was a day when she looked down at the dog and she could not only not remember the dog's name, she couldn't remember that it was a dog. She could not identify what kind of an animal it was. And that's when she knew that she had an issue and she went and she got evaluated and she's being treated. So the signs and symptoms of cognitive impairment can become pretty obvious if you know what you're looking for. Symptoms of MCI can include forgetfulness often enough that it worries you, uh, struggling to understand information you read, uh, trouble planning things or solving problems, uh, forgetting the name of a family member, losing interest in favorite activities, getting lost in a familiar setting, showing poor judgment or struggling to make decisions, or your family or friends may be expressing concerns about your memory. If you see any of these symptoms, don't ignore them or, or just don't wonder and worry. Find out, get a memory screen. It may show that your memory is within normal for your age and you're fine and you'll be relieved. Or if it does point to a problem, you can be evaluated further and that problem can be identified and addressed. To help you, I put together this resource guide, Know the Symptoms of MCI. It lists the common symptoms I've shown you here and points you to the best resources for getting a memory screen. If you want this guide, just go to gocogno.com slash MCI symptoms. It's free when you sign up for my weekly brain health newsletter, which is also free. So I'm going to leave you with that. After all, I have a cup of coffee to drink here. It's even still warm, but, but I guess that does beg the question. The example that I began this video with, uh, taking a mug out of the cupboard, pouring coffee in it, and then putting the full cup of coffee back in the cupboard. Uh, how about that? Is that a simple act of age-related memory loss? Or is that a symptom of mild cognitive impairment? Leave a comment below and I'll give people a chance to weigh in, and then I'll jump in, and I'll tell you what the answer is. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention, I do these videos on brain health every week, and you're welcome to check them out. I hope to see you again. Until then, be kind to your mind.